It's time for our Fantasy Spotlight presented by DraftKings, the official one-day fantasy soccer partner for FC Dallas. Playing is so simple. Pick the best assortment of players under DraftKings' allotted salary cap and fill out your roster. Earn fantasy points when players play well. Ten points for a goal, six for an assist. Here are this week's picks. You can play on DraftKings.com's one-day fantasy soccer site for free with the first deposit using promo code Hooper. That's Hooper at DraftKings.com. FC Dallas is measuring itself against the best team in the East tonight when it takes on New York City FC. Here are Carter Baum and Daniel Robertson with a match preview. Thanks, Gina. FC Dallas is coming off Tuesday night's Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup Final, where the club won its first major championship in 19 years. But tonight, it's right back to business, heading to New York to place NYCFC. Congratulations to this group of players and coaches that uh, has helped us this much to get to this point. We already get through that big hurdle, and uh, one of the first one, and. Uh, and we take some some pressure out of uh, these many years, you know, without just having uh, a trophy. Yeah, it was an unforgettable night on Tuesday, but like you said, it's right back to work. FC Dallas is four points up with five games to play in the Supporter Shield race. They probably need to win three out of their last five to get that trophy. Great opportunity tonight at Yankee Stadium. Well, FC Dallas and New York City FC kick off in just a few minutes, but for now, we'll send it back to Gina. Thank you, gentlemen. Back here with Victor Uyoa. And, Victor, we've seen New York City FC being one of the best clubs in MLS on top of the standings in the East for much of the season. Um, just your thoughts as you play in the Bronx for the first time tonight, but play a star-studded New York City FC club. Yeah, we know they're on a good roll, and we know they've, they've changed their, their dynamic and their game plan, and they've done it's worked for them this year. And excited to play in the, mm -hmm. at Yankee Stadium for the first time. That's going to be, it's, it's, it's new Yankee Stadium, sure, but there's a sense of history involved, isn't there? Just going to the Bronx and, and playing in those hollowed grounds. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, watching baseball growing up and, and watching the Yankees play at, at that stadium has always been pretty cool. And now to get to play in it, it's, it's going to be a good experience for us, hopefully. And, and we should say that Victor is a Rangers fan, by the way. <laughs> but, but, but I will say that as a home pitch, Yankee Stadium has taken a lot of criticism because of its size. You really almost can't spread the field like you would like to, say, right here at Toyota Stadium. What have you heard around the league? Yeah, I've, I've, we've heard, I've heard from, from other players of how narrow and how small the field is. But I mean, it's, it's another experience that we have to take and we have to learn and, and play in and I mean, we'll, we'll get to, to see the field and see what we're going to face. So hopefully we, we get adjusted quick. You look at what New York City FC has been able to do offensively, and it's been prolific. David Villa has been at either the top or near the top of the MLS stats in terms of goals scored, shots on goal. They are an attacking club. Your defense and your goalkeeper will be tested tonight. Yeah, we know the kind of players they have. Uh, you name David Villa, he's on a row, and we just have to pay, pay a lot of attention to him and be very concentrated for, for the 90 minutes so that we can, we can keep him controlled and the least shots possible. Yeah, one thing that does stick out as we go back to Yankee Stadium is that New York City FC has been somewhat vulnerable, if you will, at home. Their home record, 6-3-5. and five. That's sort of in the middle of the pack, really, in all of the teams in the East. And in terms of if you compared it to home records of teams in the West, you have to go below the red line to find a, a, a Western Conference opponent that has a similar home record. So if any team is going to be vulnerable on the road as you play three regular season road games, as we close out the 2016 season, all three of those um, road games are against playoff opponents. This is an opportunity to strike tonight against New York City FC. Absolutely. Uh, we, we take every advantage we can and we focus on, on getting a result away from home and, and what a place to do it at the Yankee Stadium for the first time. All right. It's going to be a good one tonight. FC Dallas taking on New York City FC at Yankee Stadium. Victor, thanks so much for the time well, thank tonight. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Always a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you guys as well for joining us. Don't forget that our next broadcast will be right here next Saturday night, September 24th, when FC Dallas takes on another good opponent, Victor in Real Salt Lake. It's tough going out. That show starts at 8 o'clock. Kickoff is at 8.30. Right now, we invite you to join the match as FC Dallas takes on New York City FC live from Yankee Stadium right here on TXA 21.